All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Dominion League Season 50. Uh, that's L in Roman numerals. So, you know. Let's try to avoid any of those, huh? Uh, I haven't played Dominion in like a month. So, I guess we'll just see if I know how to, or remember how the, the game works. Although, to be fair, I've, I've actually never known the rules to Dominion, so uh, maybe maybe it'll be about the same. Okay, uh, horses, vampires, draw, no village. No village. How important is hitting five? I mean, I guess, I, I guess you want, like, all the hunting parties is pretty cool. But I could also open just, like, Enchantress Transmog. Maybe that's fine. Five-two would probably be pretty good here. I think opening vampire would be pretty strong. Um, so let's hope Mick doesn't have a 5-2. I think Enchantress, Enchantress, Enchantress T-Mog is probably fine. I mean, it's not great at hitting 5, but I don't think I care that much. And I think the Enchantress is decent as player 1 here. Like, if I can stop you from getting your T-Mog down or something, that's, I think, pretty solid. Of course, you just open like silver team og and and maybe, or even a wishing mill team og maybe is fine. I don't know if you have the four if you have the four three you can consider nomad camp. There's the um is it sixty percent I think chance for a vampire. That might be. I, mean, I guess if you get nomad camp if you miss five you can still hit like a transmog. Yeah, I can I can see a nomad camp on the on the four three. However, that was not in the cards for me. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Does do Nomad Camp. I think that's totally reasonable. I'm just going to say... Oh, wait, what? Huh. Don't hit five, please. I would love you to not hit five here. Okay, good. I think Team Mog's fine here. Uh, also, this hand's really weird. I guess I take, I mean, I'll take a, a Vagrant. I could take a Monastery, but I don't think I care that much about Monastery. Um, takes the Vagrant, that's, f or, and take, he takes the Monastery, that's fine, I guess. Okay, um, I don't hit five this shuffle, which is unexpected. I guess I can take a second Enchantress into the shuffle, and I'll just be... The problem with these Enchantresses is, no, I guess they're probably the best terminal here. I mean, you could get plus buy off Grand Market, so I think you can probably live with a pair of Enchantresses. Um, I'm probably going to rebuy the Enchantress right this second, then. And I should have a pretty solid chance. I mean, so the other option is um, not playing the... I can, like, horse the T-Mog, and that guarantees I hit five. I don't think I care that much, though, about doing that. Maybe that should have been a silver instead of the Enchantress? Hmm. That's a little unclear to me. Maybe I do want a Monastery. I don't know. Mick's doing something or other. I don't know what Mick's doing. More Nomad Camps. I guess... I guess buying a Nomad Camp is kind of like top-decking a horse, if you really want to. So it's... it's uh, it's a little expensive for that purpose. And there's the vampire, makes a lot of sense. I will take the um, enchantress and I'm gonna call the transmog. I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try the wishing well, I think. Yeah, let's try the wishing well. Um, is there an order that makes sense? Probably this one. Okay, and that's three coppers down there, so that's guaranteed to hit. That is, lets me get the vampire. Oh no! I need that copper. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> okay, so that, that actually did cost me five. Also, this draw was terrible. So, all in all, not my favorite, uh, not my favorite turn. I don't know. Do I want another transmog? This is a really, this is a really bad draw. I missed, like, all my good stuff. I missed, um, Wishing Well Enchantress transmog and Vagrant. And I missed hitting five because I drew both my, my, my states. 
and my vampire. Like, that's... That's just a really stupid draw. Alright, whatever. I can take more Wishing Wells. I can take another Transmog. I don't know. I guess another Transmog's fine. What's down there? Wishing Well Vagrant? Yeah, alright, whatever. Um, I guess the question is, do I actually want a Monastery on this board or not? I don't think I do. God, you have two hunting parties now? Or maybe a second vampire? <laughs> yeah, that's really unfortunate. Also, this whole shuffle was, was just terrible. I think I'm just going to take a Vagrant over a Monastery. Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll grab a hunting party now. Ooh, Greed is nice. Uh, Enchantress, I'm going to T-Mog this estate here into, I mean, could take a silver? I don't really, if I find the bat, I want to trash some stuff, but I think another Wishing Well first is probably better. Hey, look, estate. Um, is there an order here that makes sense? Main party first, I guess. Two coppers. So one of those cards is an estate. Hmm. Hold on, I discarded two coppers. I'm trash a copper, right? So if I guess right, it'll trigger a shuffle. Hmm. If I guess wrong on purpose, I'm, it's like it's copper estate down there, right? No, it's not a state. It's copper copper down there. No, it's copper. There's not a state down there. What is down there? Four, five, six. There's a copper and something else. I guess if I wish correctly here, I will top deck a copper, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. That's the oh, it's the vagrant. Never mind. We're fine. So I can wish for the copper now. It will again. It will top deck a bad card, but I think it's fine. Um, plays you. I get to play the enchantress. I get to play five on. I, mean, I could take a second vampire, but I'm gonna have a vampire this turn. At some point, I do need um. Some economy. I could grab a gold actually. Gold a uh, gold is weird here, but I think it's correct. And we'll trash the estate. Oh, that's a lucky uh, Vagrant there. Because I do want to get some Grand Markets at some point this game. Um, I could also T-Mog something or other. I'm going to T-Mog the gold, I guess, if I find it into Grand Market, which is probably correct. Maybe I should take in a 5 cost and trash the copper. Hmm, I think this is fine. I don't have to team up anything this turn if I don't want to either. I kind of do want a silver in my deck, but I don't think it's time yet for a silver. I'm definitely behind on, mm, like slightly behind on thinning, not that far behind. I do have the two team logs, which and the two enchantresses, um, and I'm down a hunting party, but I'm also up a gold to your silver. Um, sure. Or what I should have said is, I don't know, can you? <laughs> Classic English teacher jokes. All right. Um, so Enchantress first. I could kill the T-Mog here into something. Let's turn the Vagrant into a Silver. I think I'm going to leave the T-Mog alone, though. I don't think I really care about it right this second. Place the Vagrant. Enchantress is there. I played that one. This card's four coppers and a Wishing Well. Huh. That was too many coppers. 
Do I trigger this? I mean, I I, I wish. I think I, I think I'm fine with this. Okay, and then that's gonna. I could also um. Um, like, do I even want a top deck? There's a wishing bell down there too, right? All right, let's play the vagrant. Oh, look at that. Okay. Wow, so good. Um, I mean, I could theoretically take a province here. I don't think it's very good. I could take a second gold. Second gold lets, lets me grand market. It is a little weird to have two golds in my deck currently with hunting parties. Um, I take two hunting parties here. If I take two hunting parties. I really want to hit Grand Market next turn, though, which is pretty much impossible to do if I do it that way. Is silver better than gold? I don't know. I guess if I have to do hunting parties, I can maybe... Um, I can team mob one hunting party into a Grand Market. I can take a Vampire, actually, instead. What about a Vampire hunting party? All right, let's do it that way. Haunting. That might hurt. We'll find out. a pair of vampires is fine too i don't like i'm not like a super rushed at grand market but it'd be nice to have one i mean i could turn this vampire into a grand market i guess that's 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 a line that is technically possible Let's kill some more copper. By some more, I mean like any copper at all. The problem with killing the vampires, I do really, really want to kill more copper next turn. And the weird thing is, just the hunting party is going to draw past the copper, discard them all. I guess I have the wishing wells at the end of the turn. That definitely helps me line those up. And you got a grand market yourself. All right. Very nice. If I draw the gold here, let's not draw the gold. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'm in like a rush to. It'd be nice if I turned a, I could turn a vagrant into a silver. That's still not enough. For, that's not enough for a grand market though. Unless I turn both of them to there and then I'm not going to draw. So that's not happening. I could go vampire to grand market. I don't think that sounds all that exciting. None of this sounds all that exciting. I could go, I guess I could turn Vagrants into Wishing Wells, which is like marginally better. Uh, I guess. All right, we'll go one Vagrant into a Wishing Well here. Okay, not great. Let's wish for, um, uh, Copper. Let's wish for Copper. Okay, let's wish for... Okay, now what do I wish for? Hunting party? <laughs> what? Did I just, did I just like... Okay. Listen. I I have a dream. Uh, it involves wishing a lot. I could take the province now. Uh, like, it's hard to build that large here. I take a province now... If I take a hunting party, province, kill two cops, oh, those wishes were silly. Um, like, obviously I want grand markets, but I think I can take a province now. I can just, I can just T-Mog into it. So I think this is fine. Delusion is, well, we'll find out what Delusion does. Like here, I think I turn a hunting party to a grand market. I can't believe I hit through all three wishes on that. Ah, uh, always lucky. Always lucky. So I currently have like exactly eight coins in my deck. If I get a grand market here, um, curse is probably fine. 
I'll live. Yeah, I think hunting party the Grand Market is the correct move here. Then I can actually kill a copper still. With the bat and still afford province. Do I want to do that? Probably. And having like a province lead with some transmogrifies, I think definitely puts me in a decent position going into the end game. Now we need to think about trashing. Yeah, so I can, I mean, I can keep, I guess I can keep playing three team logs for economy, but I can also just start holding onto them to mill provinces, but I think I have a couple turns left before I care too much about that. I mean, I don't have to turn a hunting party to a grand market. It seems like I should, though. Definitely seems like I should. I still have five copper in my deck. All right, so ideally I don't have to play the Wishing Wells early and I can just wish into the discard all the copper to pick up. Well, I might have Wishing Wells down there too though if I don't play the Wishing Well. Okay, so I do think, I do think this is correct. Um, Discards of copper Wishing Well. I mean, I could horse the Vagrant. I could just horse the Vagrant at this point. I don't want to have a bad draw here. Okay, plays that one. We can wish for... Well, there's Copper down there. Wish for... The last card is, in fact, a Wishing Well, right? So I should probably leave it there. Um, so we can wish for... It doesn't really matter. All right. Eight. I could have nine here and not take a province. Um, I could take, like, hunting party. I don't know how many more do I need, though. Do I need that many hunting parties? I don't think so. Um, I'm going to try to curse copper for sure. Um, I could grab two hunting parties and... Like another transmog? I don't know, it doesn't seem that exciting. I think province is fine. Well, at some point I do need like actual economy. Maybe like hunting party silver maybe is fine. Hunting party silver hunting party with a couple trashes. But alliance, that sounds pretty bad, right? Um, Like I do have, my draw's not s incredible. And I kind of do want to build a bit more. Hunting Party Silver lets me do a little bit more economy. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Is there any reason that I should be playing Vampire before Bat? Like, will it ever affect my decision? I mean, I guess I should, technically, because it's more information, but I don't think it ever matters. party in Grand Market. That's my line. Forcing Vagrants is also my line. I mean, I guess I could take an alliance. I don't think it sounds very good to do that. I mean, I would take a gold silver. I don't really want in a province. I don't, the rest of the stuff doesn't sound very good, though. I don't know. I could go hunting party to another grand market, which is probably fine. Um, although, if I don't draw any more hunting parties off of this enchantress, maybe I don't do that. 
Nah, I'd probably do it anyway. Well, if I don't draw another hunting party, maybe I don't do that. That's pretty awkward. And Mick might just draw during the rest of the hunting parties here. I don't know if I want to not have hunting parties anymore. Oh, you are taking Alliance. Okay, okay. Well, that's something. We haven't seen Misery yet, have we? No, uh, we haven't seen Fear yet either. I don't think. Or Poverty. Yeah, there's some annoying hexes left. I mean, I guess I could take an Alliance this turn. I don't have 10 coins in my... No, yeah, I do. If I don't trash two coppers, I have 10 coins. Um, Trash's Wishing Well is not great, but I, I'll live. Okay, so like... Um, yeah, I guess I could not... I could kill the T-Mog here for a hunting party. I'm not sure what Vampire's getting at that point. I could get like a patrol or something just to... But not, what's a patrol doing? Nothing. I'm plugging a lot of Vampire for the... I guess I could just leave the Vampire's my deck, too. No, I kind of need Vampire for this hunting party. Um, I guess I could go Gold Grand Market. That doesn't sound very good. I could just leave the T-Mog down. I think leaving the T-Mog down seems fine to me. Okay. Mmm... Mmm... Okay, ooh. To the rescue. All right, we can just draw on here. Like, I could take... Actually, hold on. I can do that treasure play. I don't, I don't think I want an alliance, do I? I mean, I could take an alliance. It's just like, do I want an alliance? So it, it gives me a bunch of junk. I mean, I guess I can... I have two T-Mogs down, down, don't I, though? So, like, that's a lot of stuff I can T-Mog, potentially. Like, I can T-Mog a duchy very happily. I can T-Mog an estate happily. Um... Yeah, I kind of... I mean, I can also just T-Mog a vampire, though. Because, like, I'm kind of out of hunting parties. Take <sighs> the alliance. I have... I'll have five hunting parties still, which is fine. I have the Enchantresses drawing, too. Um, although, like, this turn here was a little scary already, but I'm guessing I'll be adding a hunting party. I have one less transmog to play this turn. But I'm adding, like, six stop cards to this deck, which I don't think like stop cards that much. But on the other hand, I do want, like, a little more economy to do more in these turns. All right, let's give it a shot. This, I, this is maybe bad. Again, I should play Vampire first, right? Not that it matters. I, I don't think ever. All right. Now I just need to hope that, uh... Hope that, um... Uh, I don't stall here, which is very likely. Um, I guess I, I can go Vampire to Grand Market right now, and I think that's probably fine. Although I do need to trash more Copper, but... I guess I could go something to, like, Monastery also. Yeah, Bad Omens is probably hurting a decent bit, right? Oh, you're horsing it, huh? All right, all right. That's good to see. I mean, I guess you're expecting to get it back with the Vampire. Well, if you don't take this hunting party back, then... Well, you have to have a Vampire in hand, don't you? Because you didn't play one last turn. No? Okay. Well, then I'm not going to turn this vampire into... Um... Uh, Grand Market, then, I don't think. I'm going to go with State. I mean, I could also just leave the T-Mox down here. Just for some pile control? Um, I think I'm just going to go one estate here into a wishing well. I'm going to leave the other one down. Okay, Grand Market. Hunting party. Wish for... Oh, God. Hunting party? 
I'm wishing it so well. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's why it's called wishing well. Um, what's in my discard? Oh boy, where's my hunting parties? Hunting party, um, nothing discarded. Hunting party discards a bunch of stuff. I guess I should play the wishing well first here. I guess. Um, it's like gold, silver, copper down there. Gold, silver, copper, wishing well. I don't know. Just wish for one of them. Finds the wishing well. Discards, copper, silver, gold. I mean, I guess I'm going to play this wishing well. Mm, I could horse it, actually. Which does guarantee... Well, it brings my 50-50 to 100% chance. How about I stop decking two, two stop cards here? It's probably not great. The 50-50? I think I'm going to wish. I'm just going to horse it. Okay, I missed the silver, but that's fine. Twelve. I mean, I guess I could do the alliance. I don't really want to do an alliance, though. Um, I really don't want to do alliance, do I? Um, what if I just provinced here? Like, what's Mick going to do against just province? You have no team mod down. And then I can threaten something better. So I knew I knew province. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't sustain all this crap, right? I'm just gonna take a province. I can't just. I can't take it all. Um, I guess I can take a nomad camp here just because it's a horse for next turn. And maybe I don't play it for something other effect. It seems fine. Hey, there's miserable. That's fine. Don't mind that one. All right, your team on is horsed. So I think you only have three. But yeah, like your deck is doesn't have any draw on it, right? Like you've had to horse everything. So not never getting enchantress attacks has definitely been, I think, pretty pretty helpful here. Oh no! Well, that's annoying. Um, I kind of want that. Uh, I don't know. I could take another T mod just for like the pile control. Is sure. Um, I'm gonna leave the T mods down now. So plays a hunting party. Um, plays a hunting party. There's a hunting party. There's a grand market. Uh, we're gonna horse the nomad camp now. Okay, three. And there's still there's still two hunting parties down there. Or did, did, did discard one? Did did, did discard? Uh, I did discard a hunting party. I did still wish for hunting party. I also wish for. Did I discard gold? I should probably be paying attention here. I haven't discarded gold yet. I guess I could also just horse the transmog instead of playing it. It's copper. I think I'm gonna horse this transmog. Um like again, I could just take a province. I don't have to. I got a team mog down already. Like Like, what does Alliance do right now? I guess Alliance is okay. I can just horse a bunch of crap next turn. If I take the Alliance. I can horse Enchantresses. I guess it does cost me a trash, though. Hmm. I guess I'm taking a Duchy off this Vampire, though, too. There's no, like, clear third pile. I, mean, I guess I can Alliance Duchy... It's probably fine to do it like that. Uh, I'm going to play the vampire first. Okay, sure. And I'm going to... I guess it's duchy, right? Like, you only... You don't have enough gains to, like, take all the estates, right? Like, it doesn't... You don't have a vampire. And there's no way you're playing that grand market there. So I think this duchy is totally safe.
right? Because you need you need to do like alliance and three estates, and you don't have any gains. Um, if I draw the province here, I win, probably. If I don't draw the province, I might still win. Well, I guess if I don't draw the province, I still might just get half AP this turn. If I don't draw province, I guess I can go vampire to grand market too. And there's no way like make ever double provinces here. I don't think. It seems like basically impossible. Hmm. Horse and more stuff. I guess I guess the horse there is just like imagining a world in which you can possibly double province here, but I don't think that world is possible. I mean, the Nomad Camp. I can just, like, look at your hand, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, I don't know, are you going to draw eight coins when you when you horse your Nomad Camp? Or I guess, no, ten coins when you horse your Nomad Camp? Uh, seems seems like a tall, tall ask. I mean, I think you do you take province here. Like, what do you do? Yeah, all right, yeah. Just, I mean, I think that's probably the best out. Is just hoping for massive dud. Okay, so what is? If I had a province in hand, I would just win, but I do not. I mean, I should definitely call this transmog, and turn, I guess, vampire into grand market. No, I guess gold. Probably Grand Market's better, right? Um, probably Grand Market's better than gold. Well, is it? That's unclear to me. I'm going to guess it is. It feels like it should be better than gold. Uh, we're just going to horse some stuff. Horse, horse. All right, whatever, we're there. It's well alliance to finish it off. All right, well, a bit of a long one there. But I, uh, I won my first game of the season. All right, GG. Uh, yeah. Going first or helped. I think the Enchantresses did a lot of work there. I'm not sure. Like, I didn't, I passed up on Monastery, which maybe was incorrect. I don't know. Hey, Frog. Oh, my least favorite card. Count. Okay. Temple Dungeon is certainly an open. Um, this part's kind of gross, right? So the annoying thing is there's a Legionary attack. But there's other draws. So I don't think Legionary is the best terminal. You can frog things too. Like, there's a limit to how many lackeys I actually want to take here, because I will absolutely run out of villagers. You can ball for peddlers is okay. There's only there's no buys, though. The only extra gain is ball. Um, this, this all just looks um, kind of dumb, right? I guess if you had, like... If you're going to get temple trashed eventually, you can consider just doing, like... Maybe, like, two royal blacksmiths or something. Get enough treasure hit province and then just like no it doesn't really work though because you have to frog it you can't draw it dead unless you draw both of them at the same time i mean i guess you have if you have like a couple villagers saved up it kind of works but um for the most part this is uh just kind of a dumb board i think i think i'm opening temple temple dungeon i think this is a slow enough board that i can just like Thin down with those cards. I'm not, like, in a rush at five, I don't think. Like, what are the fives doing for you? Count's pretty garbage. Um, I guess count's an extra gain, too. I said I said ball's the only gain, but count's a gain. Um, count could be two gains. 
Look at that. You can gain a copper and you can gain a duchy. That's like one third of an alliance. Not the best third of the alliance, but definitely one third of the alliance. Yeah, I'm gonna open Temple, I think. Get Temple Lackeys instead of Temple Dungeon, I guess. But I'm definitely opening Temple. Um, I don't know. Do I actually want the Lackeys? Like, is that that exciting? I'm gonna take the Dungeon. Eh, this wasn't my favorite draw. I was kind of hoping to find one of my cards. Or hitting five copper, I guess. Hmm. I mean, I could take a Lackeys now. I could take a second Temple. I could take a Silver. Silver's totally fine here. All right. And I should get two card trash here. And uh, I will not be able to buy anything. I guess the advantage of Lackeys over Dungeon is you still have to buy something with your leftover money. Which is just more lackeys, I guess. Um, anyway, I think I'm fine with this. Um, I just had six. What? Okay. Um, if I find... I might be able to actually... Might be able to ball for peddlers here if I draw exactly right. And by exactly right, I mean if I draw my temple. Maybe it's ball for something better than that. Um, oh no, I can't. Never mind. I don't have enough money to ball for peddlers. So just temple, trash two. Um, I definitely want a lackeys now. Oh, come on! I just missed lackeys, dungeon, and temple in this shuffle? That's very annoying. I'm not a fan of that. I feel like I'm not drawing all that well. I'm bomb decking all my stuff. I might just buy this temple, I guess. Four points is probably, like, a a playable number of points in this board. Man, that's so annoying. Very, very annoying. Yeah, I'll take a temple if you don't here. I think five, oh, five points especially, I think, is, is... I can't pass up five points. Yeah, I think that's got to be a temple. All right, time to burn a villager. I would love some peddlers. That'd be pretty cool. It's not gonna happen, but I mean, I guess I'll buy a peddler this turn over something else. I mean, peddlers are good. It's not like the most important thing in the world to get a bunch of them. Like, there's only one buy. So there's only like, so much money you can actually have in your deck. But they're still pretty good. Five should be a ball, I guess. Seems like a very obvious ball to me. I'm down on the peddler split quite heavily, huh? Um, I guess I can trash three here and still take a peddler, right? Hopefully my 4 VP lead will amount to something here, but I'm down 4 Peddlers, and all I have to show for it is, like, a Silver, which is really, really bad. I guess the goal here is to ball for 2 Peddlers, which I think with this starting hand, I think it's guaranteed, actually, so... I assume you're going to ball for two peddlers, and I'll ball for two peddlers. I guess I could ball for temple peddler instead. Oh, legionary. Okay, actually, the legionary is probably reasonable. So I don't have to burn this villager if I don't want to. Is it worth a villager to trash a copper? I don't think so. So I'm going to ball... I think. For two peddlers. The Legionnaire is going to be annoying for sure. So I'm going to want 
I guess I want Legionary Gold at some point. Do I want it now? Maybe I just don't care that much. Maybe I just get enough Peddlers, and I can still hit 8 through the uh, this card attack. That seems maybe unlikely, but it also means I don't have to waste 2 turns buying Legionary and then Gold. I'm going to start provincing for too long, too, I guess. This should be a gold. I mean, here's the thing, though. I can get a 5 VP off this temple. Which is, like, a lot of points. Um, I guess I could trash the lockies. I don't see any reason to, though. So we're just going to temple... Trash one copper. And we're going to ball... For this temple and a peddler. I don't know. It's a lot of points, right? I mean, assuming you get legionary attacks repeatedly now, over and over again, but I, you know, that's that's the the price I'm paying for having an extra eight points on my VP chip map. Like I don't know, you can take province already? I'm gonna ball for the last two peddlers, I think that's probably better. Peddler, peddler, peddler. Um, I mean, I could stop here. I don't see any reason to stop here. I missed my peddler. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll burn this last one, I guess. Um, I sure would love to buy a legionary here, but I'm also, like, very low on terminal space. I might just buy a silver instead. I guess I could buy a silver. Is silver any good here? I mean, I guess it gets rid of the copper, too. Alright, I'm just going to say I'm not going to get legionary attacks in, which seems like it's a bad idea. Ugh, no, I'll take the legionary. Fine. So I lost the peddler split, I'm pretty sure, right? Four to uh, six. I don't think I win this game, but we'll see. I mean, I have a, a VP lead, right? Which is... Man, you have... Such a clean deck, and I do not have a clean deck. Um, I missed the Legionary, but I guess I can just trash this Lackeys and then buy a gold. Well, I guess I know I'm discarding if you attack me, which is, like, more than 50% chance to happen. I draw a copper, I don't get a province, though, if I do it that way. Alright, well, let's just don't draw a copper. I don't have that many copper left, right? No, I have a few copper left. Eh. Alright, discard those three. Ah, game! <laughs> I just, why? Why, game? I just wanted a... I just, <laughs> just wanted to find a private province here. I guess I take a second gold. That seems better than anything else. I mean, I could ball for lackeys instead. I don't think that sounds as good. Alright, you need to stop finding your gold legionary every turn. That would be ideal. I mean, my deck does have two fewer provinces in it. Which I guess counts for something. Yeah, I think if I hit exactly five, I'd probably ball for lackeys. Um, but having a second gold in my deck just for the legionary to hit, I think is somewhat helpful. I don't know if I played the early game this on this one particularly well. I also had a couple my first couple shuffles were a little awful too, so that's alright. Second gold, I think, makes a lot of sense there. Alright, that's just going to be a province. Um, I guess I'm going to discard the dungeon here. If forced to. Because I will guarantee a legionary hit if I 
do a Legion attack if I discard. I mean, yeah, it's for sure discard the dungeon. Yeah, that's very obviously discard dungeon. As much as I would like to have a dungeon in play once in a while, um, it's not always in the cards. All right, miss your legionary, please. I wonder if that's correct to top deck peddlers with with the legionary attacks coming in. Ah, stop attacking me! All right, my last card is a temple, which means I can't province here. <laughs> okay, sure, I guess. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to top deck a temple. I'm not going to play a temple. <laughs> this is so annoying. I can take another gold. Is that better than balling for, for like, some, wheat, some lackeys here? Ugh! <laughs> Probably not. I don't think it's... It's not, like... Okay, well, if you attack me again, though, I just... Ah! Oh, <laughs> you're so annoying. And I keep having to discard awkwardly and... Stop it! Start! No! I'm never going to hit a province. I'm never going to hit province again. I don't know. Do I need... Do I need a duchy yet? No. I'm going to ball for lackeys now, actually. Balling for lackeys, I think, has merit. Um... <sighs> How do I get? I can't get through my deck though. God, this is so bad. I'm gonna. Uh, eh? <laughs> like you get your attack in every turn, and I draw exactly the wrong order of cards to prevent me from, like, hitting province. If I could just discard a card that didn't give money. Instead of discarding my cards that do give money, and then drawing cards that don't give money, right? If I just drew those one different, oh well, it's fine. Um, the gross board, it's not over yet. Like, it's not like Mick can province every turn, and you can't find like you have to stop finding your legionary every single turn, right? I could have balled for temple also there, I guess technically, technically. Only two points though. If it was more, I would take it. I mean, mixed deck also has a, like a more junk cards in it than. Well, does it? I, I have more copper in my deck though. You're gonna ball for what lackeys? Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, I get to trash a copper, which is nice, and I get to pick myself a province. So good news, bad news in this hand, huh? What do I do? Like, you're going to attack me almost certainly here. I also have the... Well, actually, there's technically... Uh, like, if you province here, I can actually tie if I get to play my temple. No attack? <gasps> no attack. That is incredible not to be attacked there. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Because this, this would have been the saddest disc... I don't what do you mean discard here. I, I don't know what you discard here. I mean, I could discard... I just hold on Legionary Gold, I guess, and see what I draw. Interesting now, huh? If Mick has a Golden Hand, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be furious if Mick has a Golden Hand. <laughs> All right, playing the temple, I think, indicates you're going to take these VP chips off the temple pile, which I think is... Well, that's not true. You could take a province here. But it has to be temple, right? Yeah. All right, so, like, I have the particular issue currently of... How do I win this game? Like, I have to take a province, right? I'm pretty sure I have to take a province here. You do have a dungeon in play, but I do get the attack in. But the other problem is you have lackeys. Here's the problem. And the current problem is that, like, what do I do if I don't take this province? I take a duchy. Um, I take a duchy, and then you take a province, and you still win, right? So I think I have to province here. 
Like, I, I don't know what else I would do other than Promise right now. And you also have minus one coin token, so maybe that helps a little bit. But you do have a lot of... You have a lot of lackeys in your deck now. You have enough filters to play everything. Um, You have more peddlers than I do. I mean, it's just gotta be province. I can't, I can't not take province there. Um, like there's a pretty high chance that you province here, but you know, maybe not. Well, okay, fine, you win. GG. Anyway, I think I had to go for it, right? I don't. Not provincing there, I think, was also just as losing. All right, first player strikes again. I do need to do pretty well this match because Mick is off to a very hot start this this uh, season. So it would behoove me to win some games. Ooh boy. Um, we got paddocks, we got demands, we got villa stuff. We got um farming village tunnel? Oh, classic combo. Um, what am I supposed to open here? I don't know what I'm supposed to open here. Uh I kind of just want to hit 5. Yeah, I do I open double silver? <laughs> I guess I could open double silver. Like, all the other stuff looks pretty bad, right? I mean, I guess Armory is... Uh, eh? No, not really good. No, not really. I think it's double silver. 5-2, I think, would be pretty solid, actually. I'm not sure what 5-2 would be. You'd probably demand something. Maybe not. Maybe you would um, just buy Paddock or Count. Probably, probably Paddock. Use Forge for trashing. I'm going to guess this is double silver. What, what else would I open? Um, let's see if I can hit some 5s next shuffle. Do I want to counter? No, I think I think not. I try to just get a forge and some paddocks. The count trashing is pretty slow. Okay, hit three again. Like, do I want a third silver? I guess. Maybe I'll hit seven. If I hit seven next turn, that would be pretty sweet. What are the odds of that, given this hand? I need the bottom deck in the state, and I need to not bottom deck either silver. Um, I mean, I guess a third silver, so you're correct. Okay, five. Um, ooh. Well, actually, that makes Mick even more likely to hit seven this turn. So hitting seven would be absolutely incredible. I'm going to guess this is Paddock, and I'm going to skip the count trashing. I'll take a second Paddock. Oh, come on! That's... Oh, and I missed my bump with Paddock, too? Damn it! <laughs> That's so frustrating. That's very frustrating. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't not one bit. Not one bit. And he gets demand here. Oh man, and you're gonna get the big freaking Oh Those draws are stupid good. Okay, I get a forge here myself. Maybe you'll bottom deck your forge? Please bottom deck your forge. I need you to bottom deck your forge. Please. I can't handle ah! <laughs> No, stop it. <laughs> Oh, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. I bottom deck my paddock, so I don't have any horses in this shuffle. You got to trash four cards here. Oh, five cards here. Ugh, that's really, 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 really bad. This might just be one of those games that I just lose. Um, congrats. You just drew really badly. I don't... Yeah, I just drew a lot worse and won lost the game. Not over yet. Not over yet. I'm gonna buy a forge here. Very clear. I'm gonna buy a forge here. Um, I'm gonna. How many more packs do I want in my deck? Oh my god, this is this is over, right? This feels completely over to me. I can take more paddocks. I mean, I don't think I mind having more paddocks in my deck. I can demand a thing here. I guess if I demand here, I do get to trigger the shuffle, which is probably pretty good, right? Trigging the shuffle does sound like really, really good to me. What, what's my next five cards? Um, nothing good. There's no paddock down there. It's it's all it's five stop cards, right? It's like a silver. No, that means silver. Or maybe one silver. Nope, not a silver. It's just like yeah, it's literally just five. Okay, I have to I have to, I have to demand here then. Um, sure. Okay, I have to trigger the shuffle. That's mandatory.
Ugh, it's so freaking annoying when things like this happen. All right, if I get, if I draw like, if my top card's a forge, maybe um, maybe I can do some stuff. Or if I like top card's a horse, I can like a really big trash here. I do have like four. I do have four horses in the shuffle too. So, if I draw like a horse on top and I get like some good draws in, like maybe that's enough to. Okay, no, I'll just hit, I'll just hit four. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even hit five. I hit four. <laughs> what game? Can we have a please have a chat about this? Like, do I? <laughs> okay. Uh, eh, okay, sure. I mean, fine. Oh my god, if I miss all my horses, don't miss. Please let. Oh god, let me trash some cards, please. Please let me trash some cards this turn. This is just. This is dumb. This game's dumb. Ugh, if I just draw some horses, I'm probably okay. If I draw, like, nothing here, um, yeah, what am I supposed to do if I just draw nothing? I don't know. If I draw a copper, like, cool. Uh, great. Yeah, I think, I think I'm already completely lost here, and I don't think there was anything I did wrong. Fine. Just give Mick a free win, because that's... Steph's here, right? Yeah, of course you are. Turn in those dials. I don't know what I did to Steph to to piss him off so much. Um, you get more paddocks. You get to draw that paddock and play them. Like this is just so so incredibly over. At some point, you should buy a villa because you're in a one plus buy. But I guess you can actually just forge and form build a villa, which is probably better. Yep. Okay, yep, yep, I'll miss all my horses, that's fine. Ugh, what am I supposed to do? I guess I can go silver copper, just take the, a paddock here. I mean, this is just, it's so dumb. It's absolutely, absolutely incredible. <laughs> and I bottom decked all my horses and both my paddocks. <laughs> I know, I should resign this, it's... I'm gonna go get a drink. Like, contemplate life. <sighs> Alright. You get one free win. If you get more than one free win, I'm going to start getting mad. But one free win happens, okay? Yeah, I mean, like, this is absolutely resignable. I guess I'll play one more turn while I'm waiting for my tea water to boil. But, like, this is absolutely resignable. Okay, I also don't... I'm not allowed to put... Yeah, I mean, I guess I want to put some horses in the shuffle. So I guess I buy a villa here. Okay. Keep drawing, keep drawing, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna trash, um, how many copper should I trash here, all of them? Maybe all of them is correct. All of them, it sounds reasonable. Okay. I'll just take the last two paddocks. Man. I don't know, maybe I'm not lost yet. At least that turn was good. Maybe it's at like 10% to win instead of 0% to win. I don't think it is. I think I'm I think I'm completely lost, but we'll see. I 
I don't know. There's still some play left. There's some clever things I can probably do. Certainly, I can be forging crap into provinces. I guess I could be bishoping. No, bishop's probably not very good. Um, mm, it's my last estate, though, so it's the last chance to forge that into a province. Could also be conquesting. Maybe conquest um, is how I score points in this board instead of provinces. Although forge kind of melts the provinces really fast, but conquest is okay. And I can be forging those silvers into crap, into more silvers even, if I'm that desperate. I probably want another villa at some point. I guess I can forge a farming village to a villa too if I want to do it that way. I don't know. Maybe Maybe conquest has some action here. We'll see how it goes. All right, we're definitely giving this a long think. <laughs> What are you doing? Please. Please, Mick. You're killing me. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, alright, we got a forge in hand, obviously. I assume you have. Like, what do you. Like, if you have a horse, don't you just play the. Unless you're just stopping now and don't want to gain and play whatever you're forging? Maybe, like, the bottom two cards are horses or something, you might want to leave them there? But I feel like that's dumb. Like, I feel like you play your paddocks. Like, you play your paddocks, and you just top-deck all the horses at the end of the shuffle. So I don't, like, I don't know why you wouldn't just draw two more cards here. Unless you're actually out of horses? I guess it's possible you're out of horses. But you don't have a farming village still, too? Maybe you're thinking about killing the farming village? Okay, yeah, like, not... Like, why would you think on that? I'm so confused. Like, there's no reason to think that on that point. Right? I can't see a, a single reason why you'd be thinking, like, that's your decision point right there. Like, surely you want to just top deck some horses for next turn. Which means drawing down your shuffle and, and shuffling. Like, now you can think. Because you might want to gain and play something off of Forge. But, like, thinking at that point made no sense to me at all. But I can't forge two silvers into a conquest. That would be pretty cool. Maybe I want a second forge, actually, on this board. And just do, like, a bunch of conquesty things. I don't know. I, I do have limits to how many silvers my deck can actually support. I mean, I guess I can just, like, start killing, like, five silvers, though, right? I guess you can just forge, like, forge, like, a whole bunch of silvers. If I get, like, triple conquest going and then forge six silvers... Um... You know, or even qua like however, however many conquests I can like find the draw for. All right, anyway, this game's gonna take like sixteen years, I guess. Um, because uh, whatever, mix doing now. All right, well, I don't want to resign because I think there's at least a chance I can still win this, even though I'm very far behind. Like I don't know, and maybe. I don't think the end game here is trivial because I think I think the odd lines with maybe conquest versus province is not trivial. There's some bishop possible bishop play as well. Um So I th I don't think the end game is trivial here, so I, maybe maybe I can see if Mick makes a mistake. I think if Mick does make a mistake, obviously Mick wins, but I don't think it's the easiest end game to play, so we can do that. It's interesting that you wouldn't top deck more horses. Unless you're looking to gain but then that's the wrong order to do that in, right? I don't understand the, the play decisions here that Mick is doing. 
Like, if you're looking to just top deck horses, like, you should probably top deck all your horses. And if you're looking to gain in play, you shouldn't be playing the paddocks now, right? I'm so confused when things get mixed. Oh, whatever. It's fine. doesn't matter. It's just like, he's not playing as if you're stopping here, and you're also not playing as if you're gaining and playing either, though. So I'm not sure what you're doing. There's also some maybe some tricky pileouts here and there. Eh, maybe. I probably want a second villa. I, I definitely want a second villa this turn, I believe. Maybe a third. Uh, at some point I might want a third, but probably not yet. Oh, this this is actually brutal. Mick, you're killing me, Mick. <laughs> what, what are you doing over there? Oh, Armory. Armory's fine. So, I, I mean, I assume you're going to Villa and play on here. No? You're stopping there? So you're not forging at all? Alright, whatever. I don't understand what, what Mick's doing exactly, but okay. Hey, cool. That's my turn. Um... I should probably kill these two cards here. Yep. Okay, I just bummed up all my horses, which is cool. Um, I guess I take a bizarre. I could take a contraband. Actually, contraband is better than villa, right? Um and I get the conquest? Do I go on a conquest for for just two points here? Ugh, I don't have the I don't have enough draw to support all of this. Contraband. I mean, it's better than Villa, right? Alright, I'm gonna put some more horses in the shuffle. I did get five paddocks, right? So we at least we split the paddocks. Alright, anyway, um, so I guess I have probably about an hour before Mick finishes finishes their turn. So how's everyone doing? We doing all right? Uh, hope we're all hope we're all doing fine this lovely February morning. I um I don't know what am I doing? What am I doing? Hmm. I'm doing okay. I've got some work to do this weekend, which I don't really feel, feel like doing, but uh, I'll live. Mick, 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 Just play all your horses, please. Get to the end of the shuffle. There's no reason to not play all your horses. And get to the end of the shuffle. Only stop to think when it makes sense to stop and think. That way you save brain power. Also, it plays faster. And I don't lose my mind. I do have to go at one today, so I'm hoping this doesn't become a three-hour match. I'm not sure about the armory, actually. Like, is the armory doing anything? I guess it's gaining a silver? So it's, like, kind of worth a point? Or if you're double conquesting, it's worth two points? So maybe that's fine? I guess you can armory for villas for some plus buy, but I don't think you need that many buy here. And you could have just bought the villa if you wanted the plus buy. Hmm. It does give some pile control. Ooh, this play speed is... I, I can't... Yeah, like, I just play worse with this play speed. It's, like, very... Um, It's very, like... It just throws me off if I can't get into, like, an actual groove. 
Is Mick usually this slow? I feel like Mick isn't usually this slow. But this has been this cold this game has been really, really long. These decisions are Oof. Alright, anyway, what am I doing on my turn? I'm probably gonna have to. I'll have three buys. I don't think I can triple conquest, but I'll have a lot of horses next shuffle, because I can put a bunch of horses in the shuffle at least. Before I trigger. And I already have six down there. I'll have ten horses in the shuffle before I trigger that. Which is nice. I do have limits on how much money I can actually get into my deck. But that's fine. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I will not disagree. <laughs> it's been, it's been absolutely unplayable how slow you've been. <laughs> uh. Hey, decision. Bishop time. I mean, I guess bishop's fine. Maybe you're thinking of bishoping the forge? Um, I'm kind of thinking you need to keep the forge around, though. Because I feel like you want to want to buy a whole bunch of silver, which means you need to trash a bunch of silver every turn. And I won't trash any of this, obviously. Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. I think you need to keep the forge around. Um... Because I think you're going to have to, like, thin silver. Unless you're just doing provinces now, which I think is totally fine. But if you're doing provinces, then keeping the forge around also makes sense, because it gives you the pile control, right? I don't know. Killing the forge is actually really, really weird to me. I don't... It just sounds wrong, right? Like, I think every... every. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like... Every way you'd want to play this game. Um... Uh, horse, horse, horse. All right, gotta stop and think at some point. Um, I mean, I guess if Mick can double province every turn, I can. Can I beat that? So let me see. I'm playing the villa for sure. Um, now I'm gonna think before I draw on here, because I could forge. How much money do I have? What's my last card? I don't know. Might be silver. I think it's silver. Um, so 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can triple conquest. So I just do forge silver to silver and triple conquest, and maybe that's okay. All right. See, look how fast you can play your turns, Mick. Look how quickly you can do that. Absolutely incredible. Okay, now the trick is probably I need to thin a bunch of these silvers out of my deck, so I can just keep doing that every turn. Although, I'm going to have to draw. I only have five horses. I can't really draw that well is the problem. <laughs> um, I cannot draw that well. Like, if Mick doubles again, I'm not going to triple conquest every turn.
All right. Yeah, I don't, getting rid of the forge does not make sense to me. I think the forge is... I mean, I guess you're going to bishop the provinces? I don't know. I don't like getting rid of the forge at all. I think it's actually just really bad. Um, I think Mick was still far enough ahead that's probably not going to matter, but uh, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I only have... I'm going to get 10 cards of draw for next turn. Like, I'm not going to draw very well next turn. That's the problem. Um, will not draw very well next turn. Maybe I should have, like, gone Conquest, Conquest, demand something? That doesn't sound very good either, though. Well, no, I have, I have no more horses down there, right? I'm out of horses. Yeah. I don't think I can do a whole lot here. I assume you just double province again. You trash the villa, interesting. I don't expect a province trash, not a villa trash. Five, bump, 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 bump. Um, I mean, I missed the villa. I missed my forge, which is unfortunate, because I wanted to trash some crap here. Um, I mean, I guess like double conquest? It's not very good, though. You might, na you might name... Something other than province, but I assume you just named province, right? Um, yep. Do I want a villa? Nope. Do I just double conquest, which is not that many points? I guess. I guess I could demand a villa. Who demanded villa? I guess I could demand a villa. Um, I can't do it again if I want double conquest, which I guess I do. Right? Ugh, it's all just, everything's just losing here, right? I think it's all just losing here. I could demand villa and then I'm down at um, I lose four coins on that, which puts me at nine, which is not a very good number. I guess it's got to be double conquest on end points. Like, I can't get rid of the rest of my shuffle at all. Yeah, I don't think I... I, I do think my early draws were just pretty, pretty game-losing. I don't think, um... Maybe there was something I could have done here to try to win? I don't think so, though. Maybe I could have demanded the bishop instead of the conquest? I don't think so. I don't think I have, like, any... I just think getting rid of the forge was so, so, so weird. I'm so confused about getting rid of the forge. So, like, what are the odds? Like, Mick doubles here and then is, like, guaranteed to double next turn, too, right? Because Mick just has to stockpile forces now. Like, there's there's literally no outs. I don't have any outs here. Like, yeah, you get to you get to draw your deck next turn, absolutely. If you double province here, it's not like I can beat that. Yeah, I don't think I ever... I don't think I ever had any possible um, way to win this game from the draws early on. I mean, I guess without, without Mick just um, boffing it real hard. Anyway, we'll see what happens here. Um, last card's a paddock, right? So I probably should play Harm Village first. Okay, so what would winning here entail? Uh, it sure would entail a whole bunch of... Um, I don't know, there's no way that this would ever win in the world, right? Okay, and we're stopping here. Okay, so I could forge Paddock Silver. That would leave me 714 and 5 is 19. So I could get the two provinces. That's not a problem. Um, and then do what? How would I score? Two provinces puts me at, what is that, 12 points? Puts me at 35. Then I would need like 16 bajillion... Um, Like, that, that just never works, right? 
So what are we gonna do? Double conquest? C cool. I mean, I don't think there's any possible outs here. I don't think there's any outs here. So I forge paddock silver. I'm at 19. I can buy triple. I can do like. <laughs> like, what are the odds that Nick misses even single province? It's impossible, right? All right, I don't like. There's no way that this doesn't just instantly lose, but whatever. Um, we're gonna go ahead and demand a villa, and I can demand a villa again. And we're just gonna take two conquests and uh, somehow assume that Mick misses double province, which is literally impossible. Anyway, I don't think I ever stood a chance this game. I think my early draws were too bad. All right, we can just, it's fine. You don't, to, don't, you don't have to think for 10 minutes to find a double province line. I'll, I'll spare you. God, it was freaking. that was just dumb. That early, like, I don't know, the early game there was so sad. Absolutely brutal early game, and I just never recovered from it. I don't know, maybe there was something I could have done at some point. I don't think there was, though. All right, watch Mick get a 5-2 here. Um, oof. It's not Star Wars, which... There's Savanto stuff. Chameleon, even. Yeah, and Mastermind. Okay, and Trashing is what? Sauna Silver or Ratcatcher? I think I have to open Sauna Silver, which is just very sad. Sauna Silver is just the, the saddest of opens, but okay. Do I take a second Sauna? I guess I do. Don't trash, don't trash, don't trash, don't trash. Assume thinking here means you're not trashing. I'll take a second Sauna. Yes, I get the trash in. And I don't hit five, unfortunately, but um, it's all right. Okay, well, those are all gone now. Do I want a second Silver? Probably want a second silver in this deck, right? With two saunas. All right, five here is going to be a witch, I assume. Ah, uh, maybe it's not, actually. Maybe it's just Avanto. It's probably just Avanto. Did you get a double estate trash? No! Jerk. It should be speed. I think this is just Avanto. Um, right? Like, I don't think I need... Um, did I have an estate in that hand? I'm going to stay there. So this is guaranteed to draw me at least a coin or my other sauna. Trash you. I don't think I want to trash a copper here. I think the five cost was better than that. Um, do I want to take like a mastermind maybe? I'll take a mastermind. I think I did Sacred Grove also. It's just like have a little economy in my next shuffle. I mean, I could just take another Vonto, too. I think that's that's actually reasonable to take another Vonto here. Um, I'll be drawn pretty well. I'll probably be thinning down pretty fast. Um, all right, I'll take one more Vonto first. Uh-oh. Please, please, please find a Sauna. I've got a two and... What is it? Whatever. Whatever chance it is. Okay, good. Uh, I missed my other Sauna, but I'm going to live. Trash... Trash. I think I'm gonna take Sacred Grove first. My draws here have just been a lot better than Mix, I think. This should probably be Grove, right? Feels a lot like this is Grove. Hitting my other Sauna there would have been really, really, really good, though. I would have gotten two extra trashes in. At some point, I want to Lost Starts, I guess, the Avanto Sauna pile. I could stop here. I don't think there's any reason to, though. Like, I do want to Mastermind um, as my next five. I mean, I assume you're taking... I'm not sure what you're taking here, actually. If I could draw an Avanto here, that'd be pretty swell. Um, I guess if I draw the Grove... I'm happy with the Grove, too, actually. Grove or Avanto would be ideal. I guess silver I can live with. The worst case scenario would be drawing like my other sauna and then not drawing a Vanto. Maybe I should just lost arts to 
the Vonto Pile. Since I only have two Saunas, right? So maybe it just makes no sense to Lost Ark see a Vonto Pile before I get a Mastermind. That seems dumb, though, right? Like, that seems like playing very scared. Okay, well, I missed. Um, I assume this is Mastermind now, right? I assume so. Okay, what's down there? There's another Sauna down there, so I should lead on Sauna here. No, sorry, there's another Vonto down there, so I should lead on the Vonto here. I found the other sauna, which is excellent. So, um, I'm gonna trash four copper. I guess I play the grove. Ah, shoot. Do I play the grove as draw? What's my last card? It's a copper, I believe. I could clear the copper off. If I do that, though, I guess I could do that. What if I don't do that? And then I have five. I have, uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight coins if I don't do that. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna just play regular. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, okay. Um, trash, trash, eight. That's ten. Mm, I guess I don't, I guess I'd rather not trash and take like Mastermind Avanto right this second. Okay, I get the mastermind something here, which is, um, I don't know, does it matter? I guess I'll mastermind the Avanto, because that's the most money? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to lost arts here, I think it's probably a waste. Uh, we're going to play you. We're gonna play uh, Sauna for regular effect. Um, I guess we're gonna play, oh God, uh, bookkeeping here, bookkeeping here. Um, uh, let's not chain actually. We're gonna play it for regular effect and then we're gonna chameleon it. Just in case the Grove, I want the overdraw for the Grove. Um, oh my god! That is absolutely incredible. That's ridiculous. Alright. 18 here is going to be another Grove. Another Mastermind. And... Do I just take the last Avanto? Probably. It seems like overkill to have this last Avanto. But I'm going to take it. I think, because drawing Avanto to start my turn, I think, is... Well, I don't know, I'm just talking about Groves, though, right? Is Avanto even better than Grove? I guess it's not, right? With Chameleon? Um, I'll take that. Yeah, I don't know why I took the Avanto, actually. That should have just been a Grove, I think. Uh, maybe? I don't know. It's a, it's a little... It's all a little unclear to me. I guess I just Lost Arts the, the Sauna Avanto pile, though, anyway. So play you. Um, chain you. Play you. Chain you. Uh, chain you. Chameleon you. Um, I guess I'm low on actions, huh? Whoops, my bad. Okay, well then... Play the Grove, sure. I guess I'd rather have the other Grove down. I guess I have to Lost Arts this turn. Um, sure, I guess that's a thing. Plays the Mastermind. So I guess I shouldn't have bought that Mastermind then. I should have bought a Lost Arts instead. Oh, that would have been like the same effect. I can kill one of these Silvers, right? Because I'm going to Lost Arts, like Grove, Grove or something? I don't know. I can also Province now. I think the Grove Province is probably fine. Um, I can also master. I have two masterminds to play next turn, though. I guess Grove Province makes sense to me. I 
All right. I don't think I lose this game ever, but well, I guess we'll find out. Now I just want more. I have three groves now. Is that right? Uh, so I definitely want another mastermind this turn. Um, there's only there's a limit how many buys I actually need though. I guess I could take just a bunch of masterminds this turn. I could also mastermind my mastermind here. Mm, maybe I mastermind a mastermind. Is that correct? I don't think. Uh, maybe I'll have four mastermind plays for next turn. Like, do I... If I mastermind the Avanto... Uh, I guess I take that, right? Sure, we'll toss... Those. No, I'm gonna mastermind the Avanto, I think, and just get my other two in play for this next turn. I should be chameleon chameleoning these masterminds. <laughs> Pretty bad form, actually. I don't know, I'm really tempted to just master on the mastermind. Can I win next turn? A uh, four mastermind plays next turn. If I mastermind the mastermind, can I win next turn? Probably actually, right? Do I have enough actions here? I have the Son of Vanto for it. Alright, so we're gonna play Avanto. Um, what's my discard? Like a few cards down there? Um, uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to this for a second, just in case the Sacred Grove gives me a gain, like a Earth Gift, which is down there, right? So I think I don't chain, actually. Earth Gift? That's not Earth Gift. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> I tried. Um, so I have... What's in my discard? There's a silver in there. Don't need the silver. Probably. There's a province down there, too. There's also a Wisp, right? So I can play the Avanto first here. Because there's three cards down there. Alright. So 18 here. It's going to be a Province. And I have four Masterminds to play next turn. Can I Quad Province next turn? <laughs> can I Quad Province next turn? Like, can I play all my Groves? Right, because I'll have um I'll have like a bajillion coins next turn, won't I? If I just province again. It costs 42. So like I get four things tripled, right? So that's and those are basically three coins each. So four times three is already 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um I don't think it's 32 though is the problem. But, like, if Mick doesn't lower, I don't need that many provinces. I guess the, the problem here is if I don't take Masterminds now, then I'm just, like, not having Masterminds in my deck. I guess I'd do, like, a Duchess. Province Duchess. Um, right. Because I'll have, like, an extra 12 coins next turn that I didn't have this turn. Maybe, even like, two more coins than that, too. And what's the worst that happens is I, like only get three provinces?
Yeah, like, if I get three problems here, it's still winning. I mean, I'll, I'll probably have some, like, duds coming up after that, but, like, I, like how are you going to overcome that many points? Also, Earth's Gift is still in there. So I'm guaranteed, and I have a silver in hand, which means I'm guaranteed here. Okay, cool. This will be, I guess, a silver. It could be Merchant. Um, I guess Merchant is better than silver. But I'll take it. Like, I, I don't think you can touch provinces here, but you also can't afford to not touch provinces, maybe? Also, I can get, like, a bajillion buys, too, so I might be able to just pile, like, a state or something with a Sky's Gift. I guess I could take that. Well, it cost me three cards of draw to take the gold, but three cards of draw is gold, so I think that's just not worth it. And you do, I mean, Mick has have three Masterminds coming in to play next turn. But, like, what do you do here? I don't know. Nothing that exciting. I'm not sure I can quad here, but I can get close enough. Like, I think triple is still completely winning. Right? Like, if I triple, like, how do you ever score uh, 30, 30, 27 points, right? Yeah, like, I don't think you're scoring 27 points, right? With only one province in the supply. All right, Mastermind the Avanto. Um, do I need to chain these or no? I guess so. Well, no, don't chain it yet. Um... How many actions do I need? Maybe I need more actions? Don't chain it yet. Alright, play you. Um, How many cards are in my discard? I discarded a silver to gain the merchant. It's only two cards down there, so I can safely play the Avanto. Um, I can, I guess, chain this one, and chain this one, and we're going to mastermind, I don't know, we'll see what, we'll see what I hit. I don't want to trash anything. Not really. Play. Play. Mastermind you. Okay, play it. Um... Again, like, this doesn't actually do anything for me, right? Like, whatever. Um, I'm going to play it. Uh, hey, look, I got that again. Play this one three times. No, I'll play it once. No, it's three times. Uh, silver's fine. Play it. Um, I mean, I guess I just do this. Sure. I mean, I have it in hand, right? Just play it again. All right, we have to play the Avanto. Bomp, bomp. Don't play the Duchess. More Duchesses. All right, I think I drew pretty well that game. So that definitely helped. My early draws, I think, were better. All right, two more. That was mixed first player, right? Yeah. So first player won the first two, second player won the second two. And on the game, Fumpf, which is German for five. Okay.
Next, please band of camp, catacombs, silk merchant. Got some otter stuff going on. I'm gonna open Pixie almost certainly, right? I'm wondering how priesty we play this. We could try it for some big priest turns. We can also just do like hoard money though. Like we're not that's hoard money, but like hoard in like a catacombs engine. Or maybe silk merchant search. Well, anyway, there's there's lots of draw. You got bandit camps too. I think you're I don't know if the priests are pretty expensive to actually like activate pretty well. I could also bonfire. What a bonfire priest right now. Is that better than Pixie? Bonfire priest. Seems okay to me. Am I like in a huge rush to hit five? Not really. So I get rid of one of the estates. I get to get the priest now. I mean, Pixie would have been nice too, but I think just trashing two car hoppers is fine. And I only have two, I only have two estates because normally with bonfire opens you have three estates, um, which is a little spicier. But only two estates I think is a lot more playable for bonfire opens, especially with priest, which like doesn't mind finding a state anyway. Um, take the priest. Okay. Do I take five here? Probably not. I think I'm gonna take a silk merchant. All right, hit four again. I hit five if I want to. I could get bandit camp now, maybe fine. I could draw, probably not fine. I think bandit camp now is totally fine. Um, I can only make use of those coppers. Oh, take mountain's gift. I think that's probably correct. Um, it's a little unclear if that's correct or not to me, but it's probably correct. I could bonfire again. I don't have any like strong inclinations to bonfire though. I'm gonna take this bandit camp. I think maybe take a cobbler. Cobbler to gain all the silk merchants sounds pretty solid. Okay. Maybe I just don't um, bomb down my priest would be ideal, but I guess it's fine if I don't. Uh, well, finding the priest would be really nice, because that gets me... Um, okay, there we go. That gets me another cobbler. Five is another cobbler. And this will be gaining me... Um, I might just take the Pixie now. Hmm, I could get Silver also. I'm gonna Priest the Silk Merchant or no? I guess I need to draw. I mean, I could take a Hideout. Um, what's my last card? The Cobbler. If I Priest the Silk Merchant, I can just, like, buy a, a Bandit Camp or something. I can also just, I can also just, um, draw other ways. Like, if I take a Silver here, two... Three, four, five. Maybe just gain a silk merchant, I guess. Um, I could also just take the pixie, priest, silk merchant, goat, copper, buy bandit camp, and get another silk merchant next turn. I think that sounds fine, actually. Um, no, thank you. Take a bandit camp. I'll pay another silk merchant now, because I want plus buy. Mm, how many bandit camps do I want? I think the answer is yes. Uh, I don't... Th it seems late to take Swamp's Gift. I think the answer is no on Swamp Gift here. Do I want more cobblers? Maybe. I don't think yet, though. I mean, I... Meh. I can envision a world where I want more cobblers. I don't think it's right this second. I want to hoard before too long. Because I think I'm ready to province like fairly early here and just keep gaining draw off the cobblers. I don't think I would take those wisps, actually. That seems... Maybe it's fine. It's a little unclear to me if that's, if that's correct or not. Um, this should be like bandit camp. Something. Silk Merchant, maybe? Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, take a Silk mer merch Merchant? 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 Mer silk Merchant. Keep that one. Bandit Camp. That one. Um, I mean, I guess I can Priest a Copper. Seems fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Come on, stop. Don't trash. Seven. Probably seven here for Bandit Camp Pixie.
I'll just take more silk markings now. At some point I can think about draw that's not silk merchant, but I don't think um I care. Oh, the wisp hit, look at that. Don't you have wait, how many you don't have that many hits in your deck, do you? Alright, fine, whatever. Take your hit. Um, I'm just gonna gain Silk Merchant here. I want more Bandit Camps, I want more Silk Merchants. I guess I'll take a Horde at some point. The turn before I green, I'll take a Horde, I guess. Maybe I want to green soon, though. Um, Pixie, 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 Pixie. I guess I can kill my Goat, too. I don't really need it, right? I wouldn't mind, actually. The, the Mountains gifts right now actually would not be bad, I think, at all. Nine here could be, what, Bandit Camp? I think two Bandit Camps is totally reasonable right this second. Um, I think it's a draw for it. A goat, too. Uh, two Bandit Camps and a Pixie, I think, is possible, which I think would be fine. Like, obviously, Soul Merchants are great to have. I don't think you need, like, the entire stack here, though. I'll just keep cobbling Silk Merchants. I don't know. I guess there's some appeal just to getting like a bunch of Silk Merchants. But like there's there's other... Like you don't need that many buys. There's other draw. Although you can't gain the other draw of Cobbler is the kind of like, the big thing though. Well yeah you can. You have Otter. Okay fine. Whatever. Every, everything's draw. Um, Maybe get a Horde this turn and start greening next turn. I think that's completely reasonable. So I think I have 10. Maybe it's like Bandit Camp Silk Pixie. Mm, I kind of like the idea of two Bandit Camps for Mick right now, though. What am I going to get here? How much money do I even have? I'm going to take another Silk Merchant, I suppose. I don't have to take the Silk Merchant. I do have a little overdraw, but like, what if Pixie gives me um, like Earth or something that I want even more overdraw, right? So I'm going to take Horde there. Okay, I think the Horde there is actually totally fine. I was thinking of Horde this turn myself. Uh, I'm taking a Silk... Bandit Camp, Bandit Camp, Silk, Earth. That's not the one I want. I guess I could kill the Priest right now. I don't care that much, though. Earth! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. All right, discard you for a Silk Merchant. Discard you for a Silk Merchant. It could be a Pixie. Nah, it's just Silk Merchants. Fine. Okay. And what's down there? A Goat? Okay. We'll draw. Um, I'm going to Priest the Goat, I guess, right? Because that gives me six. Yeah, might as well just Priest the Goat. I don't have any reason to keep that around, right? I do want to hoard myself. I think it's going to be like this. Um, I can take a second horde on this board, maybe. Maybe I want to catacombs at some point. Maybe council room is better. Nah, not really. I don't need the buy. I don't feel like. No, I guess this game's pretty even currently. At some point, I should consider. If Pixie's actually better than the last Silk Merchant, although I kind of think this last Silk Merchant won't be there. Mm. No, I think Silk Merchant's probably better. I can do like big priesty things too, maybe, but I don't, I don't, I'm not caring that much for that. I go. I want to province this turn, I suppose. Maybe I don't have time for a second horde. I, I think it's province o'clock. Um, can I double province? I guess I can double province. I don't know, like, you could do Province Silk right now as Mick. I don't... Oh, no, you have, um... You have a co at least one Copper left, don't you? How many Coppers did you play last turn? Yeah, you have two Coppers left. So you could double Province. if You, you can trash a Copper and take two Provinces. You might lose that long game, though, because I think my deck is slightly more capable of greening and also has a slightly more economy. But you'll, you'll have the first crack of the Provinces, so maybe that's correct. Maybe that's correct. 
Province draw might be better though. Yeah, I think Province Catacombs is probably better. I'm gonna look into double Province here myself. I guess it's the Silk Merchant. It could be Pixie, but it's probably Silk. All right, takes that one, that one, plays that one, that one, plays the Pixie. No, thank you. Plays that one. Um, I'm not gonna trash these Silks, right? I don't think so. Well, hold on. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, if I don't trash them. I mean, I can do Province Bandit Camp. Is that better than... I have, like, I have a lot. 1, 2, 3. I have 5 Silks, though. I have more draw. I think I, think I could probably handle Province Bandit Camp. Um, That sounds like better than draw to me. I could do, I could do Pixies instead, I guess. Although I kind of do want like a little more. I guess I have the option of taking two pixies instead. I think it's going to be province bandit camp. Perhaps the cobbles. Cobbles. And I'll take a, I guess I'm just taking pixies off these um, cobblers now. I could trash the cobbler, but that doesn't seem very good, right? Pixies got to be better than or the Pixie Gainer has to be better than nothing. Or I guess two coins for that particular turn. Forest Gift. I mean, I assume you just pop this, right? At, the, at worst, you're getting your Pixie back. What happens if McDoubles here? That's an interesting question. What happens if McDoubles? Maybe I should take in Dutchie instead of Bandit Camp. I could take a priest, like this turn and priest next turn, and try to get like a big old, a big old mega turn. I don't think that's very good. But like if I play the priest early and I pop all my pixies, that is like a lot of money. I wonder if that actually works. How many pixies do I have? Pixie. I only have one pixie. Eh. Okay, that's not that right. that's not great then. I guess if I took the pixies instead of the bandit camp there, I could have tried for like a big old. Big ol' bop of a turn. Um, where I just, like, played the priest and popped all my pixies for whatever happens to come up, and then hopefully had enough money to just win the game. I don't think I have enough money for that, though. I'm gonna take... So this turn, I'm gonna take the pixies. And then next turn, I'll try to... Oh, piles are low, though. Piles are low. Hmm... Um... Wait, why does it make a five buys? Oh, the, the, the pixie, that's right. Like, normally, you'll pick only, make only has three buys. Plus, a possibly a catacombs trash. So, like, a, a, one more cheap game. Um, I'm mean, assuming you just double province and, like, maybe take some pixies here. There is the issue of you can get forced again. Which would maybe let you empty the bandit fort or bandit camps if I lower too much there. So I'll need to think about the odds and all that. But the idea for me is get some pixies, get some priests. I mean, I wonder if the mega turn was correct here. Just like a pixie priest mega turn. Probably not. Probably not. Trashing the silk merchant's a little bold, isn't it? So you only have two silks left. You can't triple. Oh, um, why are you doing? Huh? Yeah. Okay. If, if, okay. Never mind. It's that's fine. I'm not sure why we trashed the silk merchant there. To be honest. Okay. We're gonna grab a. I guess a pixie. Bandit camp. Silk merchant. Bandit camp. Silk merchant. Play silk merchant first. We can burn a villager. Okay. Um. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what a windy day we just had. Okay, so here's some issues I'm currently having. I think Mick can triple. But of course, if Mick triples, I don't think I win regardless, right? Mick could fail to draw. It's not impossible. What if I just took like a bunch of duchies? I guess that's an, a line that might work at some stage of the game. 
a bunch of duchies and then just don't do like any silly priest things next turn. So much money is this? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I could do three duchies and a pixie. That comes with a bunch of gold. I'll have some draw. Um, the problem is Mick technically, if I do that, Mick can win if Mick finds, um, uh, what's the one? The, the forest gift. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mick only has one, right? So here's the thing. If I take the pixie, well, even if I don't take the pixie, right? You have th naturally three gains left. So you have three, four, five. No, that's no. Never mind. Um, if you find the forest gift, you just win, right? I think. Like I think if you if you find forest gift, I think you just win, unless I take points. So you'll have a two in whatever chance of finding the forest gift because you get to you have one pixie and you can cobble the other pixie. Um, and then if you find forest gift, you win. Or even Earth Gift into Pixie you might get you one more shot at the Forest Gift. I guess I could Priest the Silk Merchant and take like four duchies. Is that enough money for me to do that? I could take I could Priest the Silk Merchant and take four duchies. Um, I'm a little lacking on draw if I do it like that, but I think that's fine. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, Kill the Silk Merchant, take four duchies. Does actually at least stop you possibly from winning this turn. It ties me on points. No, that's not true. If I take four duchies, if you're in a win, you can still take four duchies instead of four bandit camps. So that doesn't actually do anything. Okay, that, that doesn't do anything. Um I guess I could take Um I could take three duchies and like a catacombs. Or I can just take Three duchies and a pixie. But does me taking pixie make it easier for you to pile out? No, because it wins regardless, right? So I don't see any reason to do this. Right? Like, if you find forest, if you win, but, like, what am I going to do against that anyway? Nothing. Uh-oh. That's not a good turn at all. Um. Well, I guess I can, I can otter some crap if I need to. I have four villagers left. I'd rather not order a bandit camp, but if I have to, I will. Like, I assume you take the pixie here, and you... If you find the forest, you win. But, like, I, I think you're winning regardless if you find forest. And if I find Priest early enough, I can pop Pixies for quite a bit of money. I'm not sure I can pop them for enough to, like, outscore Triple Province. Yeah, I assume that if you find Forest, you win. So just, just like, don't find Forest. It's only a 2 and 11 chance to find Forest, right? That's pretty low odds. Pretty low odds. Okay, Mountain's good. You can have Mountain. Mountain's all yours. What if I take hideout instead of priest? Eh. I guess the hideout has some appeal. But, like, does it have that much appeal? Maybe? Like, I don't think I need the actions. Like, the only way I need actions this turn is if I bottom deck, like, all my bandit camps. Which is technically possible, but... Um...
No force, no force, no force, no force. It's a 1 in 10. 10% chance to just lose the game right now. Oof. There's just some spicy odds. I don't know. Like, if Mick triple provinces, I don't think I can get enough money to actually outscore that. I would need, like, all the rest of the points on the board. So maybe I should have taken the province, but I, I don't know. I think my line was fine. Oh, Wisp hit! I'm so mad. I'm so mad when crap like that happens. Stop getting the super low odds of winning. I mean, it's possible. It's possible that like you had enough anyway. That's just that's really annoying. God damn it, game. So freaking angry. I mean, was I outscoring Triple Province anyway? Maybe not. But like, that's just super freaking. That's just obnoxious. I'm so annoyed. It's so obnoxious when the crap like that happens. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. I've had a, like that game, the other game where Mick just like found me turn three, four, four, forge. I don't feel like my draws have been super great here overall. I gotta say. What is this nonsense? Salt. Camel Train. You got some... Um, five costs, which do things, I guess. There's no plus buy. And there's Salt. So it's hard to build... Well, I guess you have, like, Wild Hunt, though, if you're on a... God, it's freaking Forest Gift. 10% chance. Mm, I don't know. If Mick had triple provinced, I would have needed province, and I'm still 12, 15 back, and 5. I could have, no, I could have won. Yeah. I had enough to win there if you didn't find Forest Gift. Um, I mean, that's contingent on me actually drawing my deck, which is uncertain with given how much gold I jumped into there. But, like, there was at least a chance of me winning if you if you didn't find the Forest Gift. Ugh. Stupid. Alright, at least hopefully I can find, like, a... Oh, interesting. Sauna? Sauna? I don't like the sauna, I don't think. Do I? I was thinking... I was thinking Wishing Well Moneylender as my open. Maybe Silver Moneylender's better. Maybe Silver Sauna is better. Um, I'm not, like, super into the saunas, I don't think. I like the money lender. I could do like money lender sauna. That doesn't make any sense at all. Never mind. Um, I do camel train. That doesn't make any sense. I think just wishing well money lender makes the most sense to me. I'll get a sauna eventually, but I'm not like in a rush. Like I don't know what is this? Um, is this a bazaar? Is it a lab? Probably a lab. At some point, I need a camel train. Um, it could be bizarre. I don't... Eh. It's lab first. Okay, hold on. What was that? That was four copper? What's my last card? It's a copper. Okay, right? Hold on. Do, 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 do. I just want to say, yeah, it's a copper. Um, four here should be... I do want a camel train for sure. Uh, it's going to collide with my money lender, which is kind of the issue there. It might not collide with my money lender. There's a chance it doesn't collide. But I could also just take another higher price point, like a bazaar maybe. I'll take a bazaar now and get the camel train next shuffle. Alright, you get a, tr a state trash in, which is nice. Um, like I do want a camel train before too long, right? Ah shit. Um but I'm not triggering. I'm not triggering the shuffle next turn. I'm wishing all down there. I guess I could get the camel train now. Then I'll put the camel train in my shuffle. So I think that's fine. I guess I don't have to trigger the shuffle if I don't want to. I could stop here. Oh, if I'm gonna stop here though, I should have just taken the the lab there and then stopped here. And then taken the camel train this turn. I I misplayed that. That was a mistake. Yeah, classic game six misplays. All 
I don't know. Do you really want all the saunas? I don't think they seem that plain to me. Um, yeah, I, I misplayed that. That was just... That was my bad. That was my bad. Apologies for that. Uh, should I trigger this? It's not great. I could get the silver now, I guess. Eh, I really... I misplayed that. I should have had lab camel train and not... This was just dumb. Big old, big, big old misplay. Hmm, I mean, I could trigger this. It's not the worst idea in the world. Okay, well, I'm going to wish for, I guess a copper is most likely. I can wish for the bazaar. It's a state time. Um, and this will be a, another lab. Okay, I missed my bazaar, but I guess that's fine. I'm going to take uh, a silver now, I think. I'm going to start exiling. What more labs do I need? Not that many. Maybe one more lab. Two more labs. I guess I'll fast enough. The animal fairs do, in fact, activate. I guess I want one sauna at some point this game. I just don't... I don't... Do I, though? Like, is it the worst thing in the world to hold on to three estates all game? Well, I guess I have to hold the money lender, too. Yeah, maybe it's not great. If I don't get any saunas. Camel train. I'm gonna exile one more lab here. I'm gonna pick up a silver first. With the goal of getting one sauna. All I want is one sauna. I'll take a second camel train, though, at some point. Okay. Um, blah. Money lender would be best, I guess. And let's see if it's there. Hey, look at that. Uh, we're gonna exile... I think this is gonna be... a bazaar? Hmm, maybe it's just a lab? I kind of want the sauna this turn, but I don't have to get the sauna this turn. Sauna this turn will be fine. I'm going to exile this now. I'm going to take just one sauna. I don't need two of them. Um, in this turn, I got stuff on the map, I guess. I want a second camel train at some point. Maybe I buy a second camel train this turn. Because then I can't play the money lender, but maybe that's fine. I think labs might run, in which case animal fair does actually become pretty tempting. By tempting, I mean mandatory. Heralds? I mean, I guess they're fine. Sure. Okay, sauna, no silver. Unfortunate. Um, at this point, I'm going to take another bazaar, I guess. Oof, all right. Let's just exile the bazaar and grab me. That's really unfortunate to miss all my trashing. I'm going to take a second camel train now. Missing the silver and the money lender is pretty bad there, actually. Pretty bad indeed. I think I'm lost actually, right? I feel like incredibly far behind the second. I think I'm, I think I'm already lost actually. Was it my fault? I mean, I guess I could have not opened Money Lender. I guess I could have gotten Sauna earlier. I guess I could have done several things. I don't know. Maybe. Just feels like I don't know. Maybe I could have played this one a little better. It's hard to say. I mean, I'm, I've lost the game, right? Like, the game's over. The game feels over to me. The game definitely feels over to me. Like, I don't, I don't see how I possibly win from this position. Like, you're completely clean. I am very junky still. You just have more of everything. Yeah. Well, did I, like, completely misplay it? I mean, it's possible I just completely misplayed this. It's hard, I don't know. Anyway, the game's completely over here. Obviously, like, I could have drawn better, I guess. Maybe I could have skipped the Sauna Silver for, like, a little bit. And just said, I don't care about Sauna Silver that much. Like, I did waste a couple of buys on it. Wishing well for... I don't know what's down there. Copper's really likely, right? Wish? There we go. Alright, Sauna. Okay, so... 
Camel Train. I probably want a couple of Heralds. I'm gonna... Eesh, I don't know what to do. I don't really need Heralds. I'm gonna start exiling... I could exile two Wild Hunts, but then buy a Bazaar. Hey, it reveals a copper. That's good to see. Doesn't matter. I, I, like, I've, I've, I don't. I, I must have botched this game, right? Doesn't feel like I just drew all that much worse. How much is, I must have botched it. All right. Well, if Mick wins this this match four two, I think almost certainly Mick's gonna promote. Like, I how do how do I catch him if he's that far ahead? Um, I would need to do like some real damage in the rest of my matches, or I need someone like to like six zero him or something later in the season. But like this game's this game's over. I don't know. Maybe there's a world in which I don't. Okay, I guess lab would be nice. Okay, I'm just gonna completely whiff, I guess, on on all of that. That's fine. Okay, like I'm just gonna whiff on all my labs and all my terminal actions. <clears throat> okay, I definitely haven't been drawing that great here. Like, if that shuffle had been better, maybe I still have a chance in this game, but that shuffle being what it was, I think, is just... Congrats, you lose the game now. I don't... I don't know. Um, yeah, like, I... This is over. Oh, well. Ugh, I don't like... I think overall my luck was a good bit worse than Mix. I think there's only one game where I feel like my luck was actually better than his. But, like, that one game was just a complete waste. Last game, of course, you get the 10% chance to find Forest Gift. Um, so, like, whatever. I mean... Mm. Of, all, of all the losses, I think this one might be the most my fault. But it's hard to say, because I don't, don't think I've got... I don't think I've drawn that well. But certainly, like, if there's a game I drew poorly, or, like, played poorly, it's probably this one. Like, what if Mick just takes... A bunch of crap here. Yeah, okay. Like, how do I ever possibly overcome what just happened here? I guess Animal Affairs will activate. So there's that. But, I mean, my deck is just... doesn't. It's just worse in every conceivable way, right? I don't have any wild hunts. I mean, I, I don't have, like, very many at all. I don't know. This game wasn't great. This match wasn't great. Not a very good match. Alright, if I'm going to win this game, what has to happen? I I, I think I'm like at 0% to win. Unless Mick decides to just resign, I don't see how I ever possibly win this game. Okay, are we triggering this? I guess we are. Take the cards. Sana, Bazaar, Wish for... Ugh, Wild Hunt? No, it's the Bazaar. Alright, that one gets hit. Actually, what if I did, um... What if I didn't trash a Copper? What if I just bought an Animal Fair instead? Actually, can I undo that? I'm just gonna exile... Like, I can't play these terminals, but, like, whatever. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait.
Um, <laughs> I was thinking I had like trash to win, but I had, I had seven coins. So I have the current problem of, um, I don't know, my terminal space is crap all. For sure my terminal space is crap. I need more bizarre. Maybe heralds are better than bizarres. I don't want to lower too much. Although if I have all the bizarres, maybe I'm fine lowering a bit. I still have like five copper in my deck or something silly. That can't be correct, right? Four copper maybe? Ooh, make out a dud. Okay. Is that dud enough to like have a chance again? Probably not, but it helps. Okay, I could stop here. Um... I'm not going to. Okay, now what? I don't have any more bizarres, do I? So I just play three animal fairs. Although I guess... Mm, I'm going to give you the points because I don't really want them. Um, I could trash. What's it? Playing Animal Fair here is kind of equivalent to playing Camel Train, right? Uh, if I want Heralds, which I think I do. Sure. I get a bunch of Heralds. Maybe. What's my Exile Mat? I don't need Bazaars. Like, I do want. Uh, I want some heralds, I guess, right? Yeah. So yeah, we'll do it like this. It doesn't really matter, right? Trash of copper. Um, what we're gonna do is take a herald. Don't overpay. Um, herald. Don't overpay. Herald. Overpay two. And the animal fair. Killing, I guess the money lender can die. All right. When we last two cards, are those actions or not? I should probably know that. Copper. Um, I think it's like two copper actually. Hold on. Ooh boy, how many copper do I have left? 11. So last turn I played one copper. There's two copper. And I have three copper, right? Um, I think that's right. Mick failed to draw again. Did the heralds just miss? Huh. Maybe Mixed Luck is running out, which would be really nice for me. Um, One copper. Two copper, I trashed one. Uh, if I one more, I can't um activate animal fairs without like another camel train. Something I care about, maybe. I think one of those car one of those cards is copper, right? Okay, I hold on. I'm almost positive this is copper. No, that's not true. It can't be copper. Um, ah crap. Did I play camel train last turn? I drew a camel train. I didn't play it. Wild hunt. Played one wild hunt. Did I draw wild hunt. I had two wild hunts. It might be wild hunt actually. Hold on. One, two. I have three wild hunts in my deck. I'm almost positive that's wild hunt. Yes. Okay. Good. Look at that. Harold hits animal fair. Great. Herald hits Bazaar. Great. Plays that one. Plays Bazaar. All right. What would winning look like here? Um, 
I don't think it's possible to... Like, I can't activate the Animal Fairs, which is the problem that would need to be solved for me to win this turn. So I'm going to draw at least once here. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. I guess I can play three Animal Fairs and two Camel Trains to do what? Yeah, if I had one more Camel Train, I could just maybe win this turn. I'm action short, though. Eh, maybe it's close enough. I need the province, right? Like, I, I need to score here. So if I played two camel trains... What if I exiled one bazaar? Just so I can activate Animal Fair's next turn. I could exile one bazaar. So I'm going to play... I'm not going to take the points here. So I'm always just playing these three. 20... 24. I could triple province, I guess. It means I can't trash. It means I can't trash, but I can triple province. I kind of like triple province a lot. But you know, can you beat triple province? You need to triple province and double salt, which would cost you how much money? Triple Province and Double Salt would cost you uh, 24 and 8 is 32. And you do not have 32 coins, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to Triple Province here, I think. I mean, I guess I could take... I could take the points here off Wild Hunt and just trash the estate. Like, that's an option? Lower bazaars by one. I, I don't have anything else I want the camel train to be doing this turn, right? I can also just trash. I can just trash a camel train. Like, I'm not... I'm not, like... It's not, like, a big deal, right, if... If I don't... I can't activate animal fairs next turn. Because five buys is enough still to, to take all the provinces with salting. And it only cost 24, which I have. Interesting. If I give you a bunch of buys, it doesn't matter for you. Okay, so how much money do you have? You have um, 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 13, 14. You can get any golds. So exile you. I'm going to trash this camel train. Like, I just don't... Hold on, that doesn't win, does it? No, because I need points. Yeah, I need points. Oh, no, you don't need to... Can you double province and triple salt to win? Double province... would match me on points. Double province and triple, triple salt cost 16 plus 12 is 28. This doesn't win, does it? Hold on, does it? No, because I can't score enough points. Um, I have five gains. Wait, what if I... Instead of playing the camp, hold on, can I undo? Hold on, what if I played... It's three animal ferrets, right? No, undo. Hold on, does that win? If I just took two estates... No, I don't have the gains at that point, though, right? I took two estates, I don't have enough gains. Because I can empty I can empty the estates, but then I can't... I don't know if... Yeah, I, I could have won here on other different draws. I think I need to just triple province. Um, I don't know if you can hit 28 or not. I don't think you can. But double province, triple salt would work, which again is 12 and... Tw oh, it's only 24, sorry. You only have 24 coins. Do you have 24 coins? Do you have 24 coins? Holy crap, it's so hard to count. I know you have three animal fairs. And I know you have one, two, three, four, three bazaars. And a silver. And no copper. Right? So three animal fairs is um three animal fairs is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
which is not enough money, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm caring that much about this. I could just take animal affairs instead of anything else. Like, I don't have any reason to kill the bazaars, I guess is the thing, right? Yeah, I don't have any reason to do that. Um, animal fair trash you. Um, like, do I want this other animal fair? Like, that's not lowering piles so much you can just win, right? Because you still need to score 12 points, so it's still double province. I think that's enough. I'm going to stop there. Okay, that's a nice hand. I don't think you can win off that, if I'm counting correctly. Like, I know you can empty three... Only have three camel trains, too, though. So if you empty... Well, actually, maybe this does win, right? Because if you can play three camel trains to kill three bazaars, double province, and then buy two animal fares for free... You don't, have, you don't have the game. Oh, no, you do have the games for that if you, if you can empty them. Oh, no, did I, um... I wonder if I threw that, actually. I wonder if the animal fair was correct. I might have miscounted uh, what Mick could do here. Shoot, I hope I didn't miscount. I really hope I didn't miscount. That would be a, a travesty if I miscounted. So, like, if you play your two camel trains to empty bazaars, like, how many animal fairs can you then play? You can play three for six games. And all you need to do is hit... Yeah, that just wins, right? You can see the bizarre there, that just wins. I don't think... Um... The good news is I'm pretty sure... Me lowering the animal fare didn't cost me the game. I'm pretty sure it didn't. Maybe it did. Because if you play three animal fares right now, that's six games. You can kill your wild hunts. And that's going to be two provinces, two animal fares, and... You could have had a third animal fair and then added just like an estate, right? I assume this wins. Unless you have the money for it, maybe there's not enough actions. Maybe I did screw up. I really hope I didn't screw this up. I really hope I didn't miscount. Yeah, if I... I thought it wouldn't matter. But if you play three animal fairs now, you'll have seven gains. In fact, you could even play two animal fairs and a wild hunt. Although that's just strictly worse, right? Because you only need the one estate. And seven gains is not enough for, like, any other piles, right? Okay, we're undoing that. Maybe we don't see a win then? Maybe there's no win. But don't you have... So if you play three animal fairs, you get 12 coins. That's 15 coins. I think it was still over 16, 17 coins. Right? So you can take... I shouldn't have lowered. I, I, that was stupid, right? I think that was just a mistake to lower the animal fares. Ah! No, I did it dumb. I did it dumb. I shouldn't have lowered the animal fares. Oh well, that's fine. Right, because if you, if you kill two bazaars now, you play your animal fares. That's going to be 12, 15, plus silver is 17. That's double province... And two animal fairs, and you can't actually buy the estate then. But what if you do wild hunt and two animal fairs, right? Wild hunt and two animal fairs means that I lowered animal fairs incorrectly. Shoot! Oh no! I ruined it. I threw the game away. You didn't have a win unless I lowered animal fairs. I think that's correct. I miscounted or something, or botched the end game there. That was my mistake. Right, because if you take the wild hunt points, um, you exile two bazaars, you play two animal fairs, you're at five buys. Um, 
which is enough for province, province, animal fair, animal fair. And do you have other things to, tr I mean, you don't have other things to trash if you do it that way. No, you have like a billion wild hunts, don't you? Like this has to win. I don't, what's taking so long? Isn't this like a very, like this is a pretty easy win? Can't you just exile two bazaars, wild hunt for points, and then play two animal fairs? No, because you don't, don't have points for provinces. Huh. Interesting. Because <laughs> then if you don't play the animal fairs, you only have 13 coins, which is province duchy. Um, which means it's a losing tie. I think that's correct. I, just, I don't think there's a win here. I think there's a losing tie. Okay, I guess I didn't lower animal fairs too far then. I mean, I might dud here, but my hand is definitely looking okay. If I draw my deck, I have enough to just salt five provinces. Um, which is going to overcome anything you can score here. So if I draw my deck, I win. I might not draw my deck. I do need a little help in the Heralds. I do need a little Herald help. Okay. Uh, it's a long match. Oh, boy. We're at two and a half hours now. Yeah, I'm not actually counting a win currently for Mick. I'm counting things that are really close to a win. I know there's like a bajillion wild hunts in there, right? Um, but like, I'm counting a losing tie in like two different ways, I think. Because you can do double province, double animal fare. But then you can't get enough points for the estate that you would need. Unless they, maybe this does work? I'm not sure. Okay, taking points there definitely signals that you can't win this turn. I believe. That's, that's, that's what it signals, I'm pretty sure. Because otherwise you're, you're wasting two gains. Either two gains or some of more points. All right, so you're going to take that there. Probably play, what, three animal fairs? Is that enough to win? No, that can't win, right? Province duchy's not enough. Oh, it is enough! No! Wins! No, wait, no, never mind. Never mind. Sorry. You didn't You didn't lower a, a third pile. Never mind. <laughs> right, 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 right. There's no third pile there. Uh, Because you undid the bizarre thing. So, I mean... I don't know. Like, do you have to do, like, Province Duchy right now? That doesn't really stop me from winning. I just need to draw my deck. I mean, you could do Double Province and hope I dud. Although, I don't think you need to Double Province and hope I dud. If you're gonna hope I dud, you can do, like, Single Province and something else. I'm down to only one camel train. Which means I can't activate my animal fares, but I don't, I don't need to activate my animal fares. I mean, the silver. And you're going to conquest a bit? Okay. I mean, actually, conquest there is, I think, totally reasonable. You're just hoping. It's going to be hard for you to draw through five more silver in your deck, but maybe it's not that hard. I mean, I just need to. I don't need that much to win, is the thing. Laboratory. Like, does this win already? Animal fair, animal fair, does that win? I can do... Well, I don't, I don't need that much. Um, like, I can do wild hunt for point. I can play two animal fairs. Um, that's only three buys. I would need four buys if I do it that way. Yeah, that's, that's not quite there. Does this win? No. Um, does four animal fairs win? That has to win, right? I play four animal fairs. I get to go bizarre, bizarre. I can animal fair, animal fair. Right, that hold on. Let me just double count. That would cost ten. 
The winner would cost 12 coins and five buys, which I have, right? Right, it's 12. And five buys is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and let's just go ahead and salt the province. Well, uh, that's going to be a 3-3, three, three, uh, which is not bad. I can I can live with a 3-3. Three, three. Second player was pretty strong this game, this uh, match, huh? Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching my first match of the season. And I do have a match tomorrow also, so I guess if you're watching this before tomorrow, look forward to that.